Hi, then. What to do, what to do. We don't have any upgraded trade poles yet, but we have 10 out of 20, and it does count from all of our families. Not just ours, so that's good. We just need a whole lot of families. What we want is a whole lot of um, republics beneath us. <laughs> How to go about this? Do you think I need to go to war a little bit at home? Just grow our realm a bit. You... Mm. My ear. Let's hope you don't get caught or anything doing this. Okay, she... Uh, is not going to go... Rejecting seduction attempts. He's not going to go for it. Okay. We no longer have the flu. Let's check through our rivals here. And seduce whatever wife there is. A lowborn girl. Deceitful. Proud. Just. Okay. You should be. Doable, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> there we go, she actually was doable. <laughs> Good stuff. We already got her, she was difficult. Don't have her yet. Little Sarah. She will definitely be mine. Wait, is she the mother of our betrothed? I think she is. Yep. <laughs> she is the mother of our betrothed. I mean, who else would we want? Oh, we don't have a murder target. No, 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 that will not do. We need to keep murdering people with all our lovers. So basically, what we're doing is we're sending our harem to do our dirty work. Confess. Very good, another one. Now we broke up with her, but he has, pretty, he has a girl, Ilva. There's always more girls. Always more to find. Let's check our list of uh, relations here. It's not as long as it could be, but it is decent. Um, lewd suggestion. She's lustful. Lustful is the only one I really know for sure. What works with it. The other ones are very often just, you know. Oh look, he has a lover. Let's make his lover our lover. I think that's a good idea. So once we've eliminated the top guys here, we are on a fairly level playing field, but we don't want him to be our heir. Because he's pretty much as old as us and doesn't make a lot of sense. We have made his lover our lover. Let's see. Alfield. You have marriage ties to her, so she, she will be our next target. This is how we do it. Sure, I'll give you council support. I don't. Need in our room. And the next one. Ah, oh, yeah, that's her. Already got her. Let's see who else we got here. Who's Ingegert? You are at a war. Attacking. And you're winning. Well, let's seize the city of Gdansk. With our ally. Probably not the best idea. I have had very bad experiences trying this in the past. 
And maybe give these garrisons first. Ah, let's do it. We would like to have the city of Gdansk and this guy please come along. And our troops here will raise. They cost us money, which is not ideal. We never really want to pay money. And he answers our call, so please join us with your 1,200 brave warriors. So we shall have a chance here. Yeah. He immediately, of course, appears and does the thing that he should do. Besiege our stuff. Okay. Fingers of St. John the Baptist and discount. Ah, aren't we already greedy? Oh, then we should become greedy. Ample vassals are gonna hate us, but money is good. Do you understand? Didn't mean to hurt her. So, that's why I said we should probably build a garrison, because our trade posts are not very strong. Defensively speaking. Yeah, yeah. And our troops have a way to go. We could probably have shipped them, but not ideal. Going to go there anyway. Where is he going? We're not going to build a garrison. We, we want to build the palace upgrade that I've been talking about for a while now. Two. All very good. We've got this guy who is a loyal servant. So he gets a woman. Loyal servants always get women. Go by age here. Give you someone who can still give you a kid. And you will be one of our commanders. Will we be replacing Karl? No, Karl is already working for us. So you will be replacing this man. Where is he? Where is he? Ah. Huh. Can he be here? That's weird. But we will not worry about it. Not too much anyway. Oh, I think he has gotten himself some uh, mercenaries there. Yeah, he has. So we will need to build a fort here because we are in heathen territory. Isn't good for our health. Build a fort, it costs us a bit of money. We also might want to consider getting ourselves some mercenaries. Something that's not too expensive yet and to maintain. What does he have? A bit of light cavalry, but mainly light infantry. So, Pike, the Swiss band, would be ideal for this job. We could afford them for a bit. So let's try. I don't want to, you know, have this go wrong. How many ships do we have? 44. That's gonna be very expensive. So we need to stand those down quickly. Those ships are costing us an arm and a leg. But I am not walking around with uh, with mercenaries for 20 hours. There's another one. A Marcus. He's not as good as the other one that we found. Come on, get off the boat. Oh. And instantly stand them down again. Don't lose too much money. 
So now we should be fine. Uh, no. Can't afford it right now. We could borrow money from the Jews, but we just can't afford it right now. So you better don't stand around in a war zone. Okay, so this guy died and no one really knows that we did it. Did. So next up is this man. Let's see who joins us. Oh. Well, I mean, okay. Wasn't exactly what I wanted, but was quick enough. Um, this man who is probably has yeah she has his wife. Does his heir have a wife? Okay. We already we're already way into this whole family business there. We can deal with this. If we win a siege or two, we get some money out of it. This is fine. See, that's 12 gold. That is another six months that we have earned ourselves here. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can get a favor. I wish I could sell my favors. I like money more than favors. Why did we lose four gold there? Didn't we lose just 1.3 each month? Go away, kid. I don't know you. You're not mine. Another 13 gold into the coffer. And now for the crown jewel, the city of Gdansk itself. This is how we will slowly take over this shoreline here. Build ourselves up a bit. Who do we got? Your husband is dead already. Goodbye, we don't need you anymore. You have served your purpose. And you didn't even given us a kid, so... What do I care? I mean, she's still the mother to another rival, but... Oh, you know. Can't have all the things. So just as a reminder, because some people don't seem to know this, uh, you can distinguish wars that you are part of due to, you know, your liege being at war or an ally being at war, and your own wars by looking at the little swords. If it has swords, then this is your own war, man. I don't know how we just lost around 600 people. No idea how that happened. Let's go this way. He's over there in Lubush. We might be able to attack him here. Oh, he won. Isn't that great? For him. So he'll send his troops somewhere. Woo. All the ways we're going. All right. So only from... no. There's no way to get in there without crossing a river. We are losing troops here. We are hemorrhaging troops. Let's go siege right next to where we are at. So if he tries to re-siege this place, we are in a good position. Build another fort. To help offset the attrition. This is, the forts are really only for heathen attrition. And I think we are suffering from winter. That doesn't help all that much. Well, let's just be stressed. Stress is a killer, make no mistake.
How are we losing so many people? I swear, it must be attrition. Okay, he is uh, shaping up to go on a boat and attack us. So we're going to make the wrong move and attack him here. Wow! He couldn't fit everyone on the boat, so he had to split this army. So the wrong move isn't actually all that much a wrong move. Let's see. We can throw a wrench in his plans here, a little bit anyway. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lombard Band. You have zero morale right now. But they come in with a major penalty, so... It might work out. It, it's not going to, but... Well, he, he changed his mind on attacking us there. So it kind of sort of worked out. Of course, we are a little bit strapped for cash, but that's all good. So, so this was really good for us. Oh, fantastic. Good fortune. What are we losing to? Forest and base. Attrition from supply limit. Oh, this is good. This is really good. This worked out really well. I am... I am surprised with this one. So, of course, he's probably going to try and link up his troops again, posing a threat once more. But we can just try and go ahead and get our vassal levy f ships here. Because these are enough to ship our troops around. Let's just get them out here and send them wherever they need to be sent. If they come here, we just send them down. If they come here again, we just send them off. Though I don't like how little we see over here. So let's go there with our ships. That way we can see the coastline. Okay, he's coming here. So we will offload our troops. Oh no, those nasty bandits. Orthodox heretic there. You didn't want us, now we don't want you. That is how this goes. I want to kind of wait with reinforcing my troops here until he commits to attacking across the river. That would be very much uh, in, in favor for me. Oh, he's walking around us, uh, so no river commitment here. Oh no, we're losing money a whole lot. Uh, we need to make moves with our troops then. Um, how do we do? Uh, how do we go about this? I don't want to abandon this siege, which is almost done. We still have a little bit more time with the money we have. Not much, but a little bit. So we'll ship these here. And he might attack them. Yeah, he's attacking them. So that way we at least kept him from sieging for a moment. So now we send them here. We will potentially just hop around between these instead of actually sieging something. We will just constantly flee back. If it is required. Oh, they're actually really good at sieging something here. What is this? Are we re-sieging our own trade post? What are we sieging here? Or the fort? No idea what we're sieging. Okay, let's combine our troops and attack. I could have found out what we were sieging here if I just read what it just said there. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. No penalties. And we need to kill a bunch of mercenaries anyway in battle on our side before they realize we will be running out of funds very soon to pay them and they 
get up in arms, rebellious, switch sides. Never a pretty sight. Tough battle there, looks like. All right, so let's get over here. Uh, mercenaries cost. And we're going to dismiss the Lombard band because the other ones we can afford. Oh, we're at 100%, so let's just enforce our demands. And what is really cool about having cities is that we can stand down our troops in those cities. We don't have to actually move to our own major territory because this is now partially Sweden, claimed by us. Okay, and now we need to rebuild our finances. Uh, which we just got destroyed more because one of our trade galleys got lost. It happens. Why are you not legitimized? Oh, you're know, just a half-brother. Okay. Okay, now. So this guy is in hiding. So... Let's go for the next best target. And there we go. So we have seized the city of Gdansk, which does exactly nothing for anything here. But eventually it will all come together. I have a minimum of 20. I have a fully upgraded family palace. I've... I've this is going to take a whole long time. It picks up after a time, but it's going to be a slow burner, this one. 